Over 1 million UK households are forecast to come off a fixed interest mortgage rate deal in 2024. This could result in you moving on to an interest rate that is 10 times higher than your current one unless you secure a new deal. This is because at the end of your current deal, you revert to the lender's standard variable rate or SVR. You can think of the standard variable rate as your lender's default mortgage rate. So if you reach the end of a fixed interest rate deal and don't remortgage onto a new deal with a different lender or secure a new deal with your existing lender, often known as a product transfer, then you'll move on to the standard variable rate automatically. As the name suggests, it is a variable rate, which means it can move up and down over time. It isn't tied to the Bank of England base rate, it is set by your lender. So lenders may or may not choose to change their standard variable rate when the base rate moves. They are much higher than fixed rate deals. In a way, it's a punishment for people's lack of action when their existing deal is coming to an end. You could even say it's a punishment for loyalty to your existing lender. It is a way for banks or building societies to make some more money from borrowers who haven't proactively changed their deal. According to research conducted by LNC Mortgages, as at the 20th of February 2024, the highest standard variable rate currently stood at 9.73%. In some cases, standard variable rates have more than doubled since the end of 2021. The same research showed the average standard variable rate currently stands at 8.17%. Being moved onto your lender's standard variable rate has always been something to try and avoid. It is even more important in recent times as interest rates have increased substantially. Let's bring this to life with an example. Joe and Janet Bloggs secured a five year fixed rate deal of 2% in 2019. The deal expired this month, February 2024, and they've been moved on to the standard variable rate of the lender, which is 8.17%. They have a remaining mortgage balance of £200,000 over a 25 year term. And this has resulted in the mortgage payments increasing by a whopping £700 per month. If you are currently paying your lender's standard variable rate, the chances are you could substantially reduce your monthly costs by switching to a cheaper deal. However, it is worth saying that despite the standard variable rate usually being more expensive than other mortgage rates, there may be some circumstances when it might be beneficial to stay on your SVR. For example, if you're planning to pay off your mortgage soon. This is because standard variable rates don't generally have any early repayment charges, but it must be said other types of mortgage deal, such as tracker mortgages, are unlikely to have early repayment charges either and may be cheaper. Recent changes mean almost all lenders should let you lock in a new mortgage offer six months before you need to start it. If interest rates rise during this six month period, you've got a cheaper deal locked in. However, if interest rates fall, it's likely you can cancel the mortgage offer you have secured and get a new one at a lower rate, closer to when you need it. You can either do this with your existing lender, known as a product transfer, or you can remortgage to a new lender. It may be beneficial to speak with a suitably qualified mortgage broker who can help you search the market for the most appropriate deal for your circumstances.